Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Hey, check this out. I wanted to show you something. Uh, first of all, very cool remembrance here of Vita Blue by MLB The Show 23. Very cool. Very cool. All right, that's not what I came here to talk to you about, though. What I came to talk to you about is this. Let's go back here for a minute. This Friday is roster update coming where they give you new diamonds, they rank guys up, they rank guys down, depending on, um, you know, their real-life performances. So a good thing to do prior to this is to invest on players who potentially could move from silver to gold, gold to diamond. You could even go lower than that if you wanted to, but the, the object is to buy these cards at the lower current rate and then if when they get a bump up you can sell them for two three sometimes up to ten times more so what i always do is i always buy 10 or 11 cards of each guy that i believe is going to rank up so let's take a look i'm just going to go with four because that's all i'm doing is uh four that i'm focusing on My first is Toronto, the Blue Jays. All right, right there. There's my guy right there, Matt Chapman. You can see I have 11 Matt Chapmans. Right now, he's selling for 3000 and reselling for 31 So he's right around 3000 right now. When, if, now there's no guarantee because we don't know what's going to happen with the roster update. We don't know who's going up and who's going down. That's the beauty. Um, so there's no guarantee. Worst case scenario, you sell them back after the update and you get your money back. So not, not really that much uh, of a risk because you buy them and if they don't work out, you just sell them back. No big deal. Um, but Matt Chapman, I believe, is going to go diamond. Look at him. He's, he's an 84 gold currently, but he's playing well enough to be ranked up to an 87. If you split the difference of that, it's 85. That's diamond. Minimum price for diamond cards are 5,000. So if you buy a bunch of Matt Chapman cards for 3,000, you sell 10 for 3,000, or you buy 10 for 3,000, and then you sell 10 of them for 5,000 each, you made 50,000, you spent 30, you, you make $20,000 profit. He's one of the four. I'm only going to focus on four guys. I try and keep it um, a low number that I invest in so it's easier to uh, keep keep control of. The second guy is also a Blue Jay, and he's right here, Bo Bichette. Bo's going for 2000 right now. If he goes up to an 85, which he very well may, he's been playing very well consistently now. That's what you look for, not as of late it's consistency that's what dictates the bump ups to diamonds not one or two good weeks it's consistently all year so uh Bo, i believe he's going to be back up there so i mean he's a beauty you sell 10 of his for five thousand each fifty thousand and it's uh, two two thousand each you bought cost twenty thirty thousand dollar profit and five thousand is the minimum that a diamond costs that you can sell. It, it could be much higher. It could go up to six, seven, or eight. You never know. So remember, th these are not guaranteed. We don't know what the roster update is going to do. These are informative, intelligent guesstimates is what you can call it. The other guy is um, Atlanta. I suppose I should hit the right button. The Atlanta Braves have... There he is right there, Matt Olson, Chapman's former teammate in Oakland. Olson right now, look at him. He's going 18, and if he goes diamond on Friday, he'll be going for a minimum of five. So I have 12 of him ready to go, and that's, uh, again, $50,000 to sell or more depending on what he is, and he cost me maybe not even 20000 
So he's another one to watch for. And again, I stress this. These are not guaranteed. We do not know. These are definitely going to go up to diamond. It's an estimated intelligent guess based on what's happened over the last many, many years with uh, the show and their updates. And the last guy is the Braves. It's not the Braves. It's the Brewers. There he is. And there he is right there, Devin Williams. All right. He's an 83 currently. Bumped up to an 86 because he's been playing well. He's been playing well all year. I think he has the very good potential of going up to diamond. Again, look at him. He's going for 17. If uh, you start selling him back at five, minimum five. Remember, diamonds have a minimum of 5,000. Corbin Burns is going for 9,000. But, yeah, see, that's a minimum. See, now, it, Corbin Burns is an 86, and he goes up to 9,000. If Devin Williams goes up to an 86, there's no telling. He, he could fetch the same price. You never know. You just never know. It's, it's an investment. It's a risk. But it's, you know, so you try to do investments, and you try to do them wisely. This, Devin Williams has been playing good all year. I think he's primed to bump up to a diamond. And at 17, 18 right now, if you can resell that card for five, you're making a profit. And then 10 times over, 11 times over. I don't go more than 10, 11, 12 cards. Some guys go crazy. I mean, it's not a, a bad thing. You know, the more you buy, if they indeed, if they indeed do go up, the more you make. Um, I just try to um, keep some free stubs so that I can continue to flip cards uh, because that's a, a solid way to make money continuously. These roster updates only come out once every few weeks. Um, so you can see I, I spent considerable amount of money last night. Uh, I'm down to 53,000 stubs right now. But if these pay off, I, I was at 150,000. So I spent about about a hundred, almost 100,000 stubs. Um, I can potentially double my money if all of these cards come in so that's just a, a thing to help you out uh, if, if you want to invest um, these are the four cards that I'm going to focus on and like I said if they don't get bumped up to diamond worst case scenario you sell them right back absolute very worst case scenario maybe you lose a little bit of money because uh, their value has gone down a little bit but um, I mean, the risk is is uh, very minimal because the amount of money that you would actually end up losing more than likely is very, very small. So, And you, you would make that back up very quickly. So these are the four guys that I have invested in. You can see I already have invested in them. And I'm uh, waiting for Friday, praying for those diamond bump-ups because um, if they go, uh, I, can, I had 150000 when I started. I can easily... Uh, double that money up to 300000 um by Monday, hopefully. So, all right, I just wanted to let you know, if you're going to invest, if you're thinking about investing, these are the four guys that I'm investing in. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you it's a guarantee because it's not, but they're good guesses. I wouldn't put my stubs to use unless it was there was some kind of intelligence behind it. So, all right, hope this helps you. Uh, keep grinding. Save those stubs. Use them wisely. Have a great day.